Hi, I'm Miss Chris. Welcome to my garden. It's quite windy today, so we'll see if this actually works. Uh, but it's going to rain again. We've been having a very rainy spring. In fact, I feel some drops right now. So we raked up and shaped this garden bed. You can see the other garden beds are still in process. And we're going to slip in some seeds that like the cooler early spring weather. Uh, so far I have put in a row of parsnips. Parsnips are kind of like carrots, but they are white and they have a different taste and texture. They're going to take a long time to grow. So they're, they're in the middle of the bed. Then here I'm going to put in some snap peas. I already have a few little snap peas in my early cold frame. Here comes the rain. Cold frame. Um, we're going to put some more in here and they grow faster so they'll have enough room until the little parsnips get going. Then I just started this row. I'm going to take my pea seeds, which of course look like peas, and put them two inches apart. And in this trench that I made, I'll take it all the way down to the end of my row. And I'll show you right now. And then they get covered up with an inch of soil. Make some nice crumbly soil on top. Press them down in there. Give them a nice bed. So they can eliminate grow here in the garden. And on the other side of the bed, I am planting some beets. I have a mix of beets. These are some yellow beets, some stripy beets, red beets, another root vegetable. So all of these parsnips, the beets, the carrots, and I'm also going to plant our root vegetables. So they will grow under the ground, the part that we eat, and the green part on top. Although you can eat the greens of the beets and the carrots. And it's starting to rain some more, so I'm going to go for now and see if I can get my seeds in. So that was an adventure, getting the seeds in with the raindrops, um, but we were successful. We got our beets and carrots and parsnips and peas and radishes and some fennel planted in the garden. And it's a gray day now. We've been having lots of gray days, and it's been um, lots of sad moments being stuck at home for a long time, not seeing our friends at school. And I have found being a musician, but you don't have to be a musician to know this, that music can make us feel better. And I actually often start with a sad song and play it as sad as I can. And then I usually invite Mr. Jeff, my husband, in, and he adds his guitar, and we play it again, and then we might add a drum and make the tempo go a little bit quicker, and pretty soon we're playing together, we're getting into the rhythm, and all of a sudden we realize that we feel better, happier, and lighter. So let's see, you can use your box drums or whatever drums you used in the last episode, some of your rhythm instruments, your shaker, uh, if you have your own instruments, or you can just, just listen or close your eyes and imagine this story of going from being very sad to being happy. I have my clarinet.
So, I don't know about you, but I feel happier. That was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And even though it is a gray day, it's still nice to get outside.